good afternoon everyone am i audible and visible to you properly okay good afternoon yep so today you have to take out your copy because i will be discussing the question answers from the chapter packing inside questions as well as the outside exercise based okay so i will combine both and according to the sequence i will be telling yeah i am good shruhit my voice is too low really i don't know what to do this is the problem okay now okay give me a minute let me just fix if anything is possible so in the meantime everyone just take out your copy and be ready with the chapter Uh, okay now check whether my voice is clear or not clear okay yep so let us start so write down the very first question from the chapter that is why did the narrator it is given in your book only why did the narrator volunteer in packing why did the vo narrator volunteer in packing or the question may also come like this how he used to boast about himself so both the answers will be more or less similar okay just you have to change little bit so first question i'm telling why he why did the narrator volunteer in packing so the answer for the first question what he will write he wanted to uh, volunteer in the packing as he thought or he believed himself to be very skilled in packing and he used to be uh, he used to feel proud about his packing skills therefore he volunteer okay this will be the plain answer for the first question as i told you from the book the second question which will be kind of similar type of answer you write down the second question how did the narrator how did the narrator used to boast how did the narrator used to boast b o a s t about himself about himself so here you write it down i'm telling you the answer in the very beginning of the text in the very beginning of the text the narrator was taking pride about himself was taking pride p r i d e pride about himself for for having a great packing skills for having a great packing skills along with along with many other along with many other skills along with many other skills which 
normally which normal normally nobody could possess which normally nobody could possess p o s e p o s s e s s which normally nobody could possess first up he even he even expressed he even expressed wonder he even expressed wonder on himself on himself for being on himself for being such a talented person on being such a talented person full stop okay now the next question i'm telling three questions so you can write it separately or you can write it like um, as sub questions what did he what did he tell george and harris what did he tell george and harris question mark what was his real intention what was his real intention question mark what did what did george and harris understood what did george and harris understood what did george and harris understood and what did they react and what did they react what did george and harris understood and what did they react before this question i have said what was his intention was what was actually his intention okay okay so for this you simply you have to write what did he told means what the narrator exactly told uh, george and harris that he just said that um that they had better leave the whole matter entirely to him so the narrator told george and harris to leave the whole matter of packing entirely to him entirely to him that was exactly what he said which question the questions are actually three questions which one you want me to repeat through it okay i'm repeating the three questions for everyone so what did the narrator tell george and harris that was the first question what did the narrator tell george and harris what actually he intend what actually he intend i n t e n t to tell 
or what was actually his real intention whatever it is same meaning and what did george and harris understood and what did sorry what did george and harris understand and what did they react okay yeah all the three questions are together okay so the first question i have said the answer so you can mark the line in your book in the very uh, first paragraph you say they had better leave the whole matter entirely to me that was exactly what he told george and harris okay and in the entire matter instead of writing the entire matter you just write the entire matter of packing why did the narrator volunteer in packing the narrator volunteered in packing because he was very much confident about his excellent packing skills okay that was the that will be the answer for that okay next question is about the intention real intention so he actually wanted to boss the job in the second paragraph you see i should boss the job and harris and george should potter about under my direction from here you're going to write your answer means he actually wanted to boss the job and um, harris and george uh, should potter about under his direction fine that will be the intention the question uh, the answer for the intention question and the next one what did they understood so they understood what they understood that the narrator is willing to do the entire packing all by himself that is what they understood and what was their reaction they spread himself um, now they spread themselves from different direction so george went over to sit on the easy chair and harris cocked his leg on the table so they became completely idle one went on the easy chair and another went towards the table keeping the legs up fine this was this will be the reaction you will write the answer with your in your own word i'm just giving you the clues where you will get the answers not the entire answer okay now mark another question so you have to mark one line from the book the first paragraph they fell into the suggestion with a readiness that had something uncanny about it underline this portion yes these are all inside the book i'm just giving you all the possible questions from this first part okay some are inside from inside the book and some you can match with the exercise as well okay now see underline this line they fell into the suggestion with a readiness that had something uncanny about it explain the question is explain this line what ex exactly this line is trying to tell okay so for this you write down the answer right now you mark it in your book and you just write down the answer for the explanation the meaning of the line the meaning of the line is referring to the fact the meaning of the line is referring to the fact the meaning of the line is referring to the fact when the narrator wanted to volunteer when the narrator wanted to volunteer for packing 
when the narrator wanted to volunteer the packing. Full stop. The way they reacted, I will repeat first you write down, the way they reacted was was very strange and weird was very strange and weird as as they eagerly as they eagerly lift as they eagerly left the job as they eagerly left the job for him whereas whereas he expected whereas he expected something very different whereas he expected something very different okay so sneha you were asking me the question so i'm telling you the question see the paragraph number 1 the line they fell into the suggestion with a readiness that had something uncanny about it this entire line you have to write within quotation and then give a dash and say explain okay the meaning of the line that was the question now come to the next question the next question what were the two things that irritated the narrator while packing what were the two things that irritated the narrator while packing what were the two things that irritated the narrator while packing so for this question you have to understand the question means i am asking about those two things that happen which caused him irritation okay two things happen it happened twice the first irritation happened when these two george and harris they completely like left the packing thing and they went into both side one sitting on the easy chair and, and one going towards the table okay means not doing anything not working at all okay so that is the first thing that irritated him and the next thing that irritated him was george's laughter when did george laugh george's laughter when um when the the narrator forgot to pack the boots okay george's laughter when the narrator forgot to pack the boots at that time that laughter irritated him so these two things irritated him at that time i hope this class will be uploaded in the youtube if there is no power shortage okay if the rec the recording is going on if the recording is good enough then it will be uploaded if anything any kind of disaster happens in the middle then it won't be uploaded as simple okay so the next so don't depend on the just for the recording you please write down by yourself so these are the two things so these two things are clear you will write on your own word next question a similar type of question but the answer will be different what used to irritate him in general what used to irritate the narrator in general what used to irritate the narrator in general mean generally what thing used to irritate him 
okay that is the question for this the answer will be he used to feel irritated he used to feel irritated seeing other people he used to feel irritated seeing other people sitting about doing nothing when he was working you see the last line of paragraph number 2 the last line of paragraph number 2 seeing other people sitting about doing nothing when i am working so this is the place where you will be getting your answer okay this thing used to irritate him in general normally he used to feel irritated on this thing if he is working and some people are just keep sitting in front of his eyes that thing used to irritate him a lot okay next question whom does the narrator refer whom does the narrator refer before packing whom does the narrator refer before packing and why whom does the narrator refer before packing and why okay so whom does he uh, whom did he refer he referred to um he referred to a man with whom he used to live once he referred to a man with whom he used to live once okay and why he is referring him now he is referring him because he is trying to relate the uh same kind of activity same kind of behavior same kind of uh, irritation that he used to face even before so while he was explaining about that irritation he referred to his previous roommate that he used to also do same similar kind of activities he would be like lol, uh, used to loll on the sofa sorry loll on the sofa and he would be just watching uh, him work and when he was asked anything he will just comment that he enjoy watching him messing here and there okay so that thing you have to construct you will be able to write by yourself repeat this from the first repeat what spriha which one number 7 means whom does whom does the narrator refer before packing and why whom does the narrator refer before packing and why this one okay so here whom does the narrator refer before packing so for this your answer will be the narrator refer to his previous roommate with whom uh, who was a um, kind of lazy and idle man okay who was very lazy so you just refer that or you can just simply say that the narrator um, referred to a man with whom he used to live once upon a time okay just that and why he is making this reference like the reason why because he was explaining his irritation as he was explaining how idle people uh, used to irritate him uh, he suddenly referred to his old roommate who used to behave in the similar manner who you, who was also very lazy and he won't be like working and just he used to sit and watch him work okay this part you write clear okay
so this chapter will take me one more class to complete the question answers okay today i have given you half that is still question number 7 the remaining part i will be completing in my next class so in the meantime you try to figure out the answers for whatever i have said okay if any problem you ask me in my next class and then we will proceed with the remaining part okay okay